Hey, Railbirds, Kevin here. All right, we have round one action of the nine ball from the 2023 Derby City Classic. Up first, Tony Chohan and Scott Lamaster, or Lam Lamaster. I am being joined by the one and only two-piece Q, Mark White. Hey, Mark, how you doing? Thanks for joining us. Hi, Kevin. Thanks for having me. Uh, looking forward to this because I've only ever really watched Tony Chohan play one pocket let's hope he's well he's got six to choose from this time so <laughs> yeah he's should be interesting and uh yeah go on he's known for uh one pocket but he's a pretty good uh, rotation player too well i'm in for a treat then he's lost the lag to scott lamaster well i don't really know too much about scott uh, but that's the beauty of the derby city right because it gives you the chance to see players that you might not ordinarily see uh, derby city is one of the funnest tournaments out there it's uh, uh as the as chad says from diamond this is not a professional event it's an amateur tournament but you know lots of pros play in it so you get to play alongside you get amateurs playing alongside pros it's not very expensive to enter it's like 160 bucks or something like that and you have the chance to play against efren or shane van boning or tony chohan in this case it's a it's a really fun tournament i love it yeah i've actually been there once i was there not not this not this one i'm not um last year i was there i believe yeah last year oh he's a lefty i love a lefty all right i just want to talk about the rules at derby real quick uh, they are required to break from the break box. The nine ball is is uh, racked on the spot, and there is no jump cues at Derby. You're allowed to jump the ball, but it, you have to use your full playing cue to do so. So there you see the push out. Another rule worth explaining for anyone new getting into the game. The rotation after the break. If you make a ball and you don't like the the shot you're left you can do a push out and likewise if you come to the table after your opponent breaks dry you also get the option of pushing out and the idea is to try and push to somewhere where well you leave your opponent maybe a safety shot a difficult pot to go at but as you see there your opponent also has a chance to put you back in as well which is what happens there I think he might have been going at that combo there, Kevin. Tony is such a creative uh, uh, player. You never know what he's going to shoot at, and I think the I think he was playing the off the rail into the combination. Yeah, I suppose could have been playing it off the back of it as well. You never know with him, as you say, very very creative player. So let's have our first look at Scott. And a nice safety. This is good. Looks very good. So, Tony, I would imagine, is a good kick up. He's looking at the two rail here. Now he's looking at one rail. Doesn't really hang about, Tony, does he? He's very unorthodox. Just strolls around, just gets down. Doesn't get right down on his cue like most rotation players. But there's not many bigger money match players around. Yeah, he looks very casual when he's at the table, when he's very casually uh, beating your brains in. <laughs> yeah, does it nicely and calmly. Uh, there's the first mistake. Now then, does he play this one off the seven to open the pocket for the two, or does the two already go? He's going inside. There's the answer. So the two obviously goes, does it? Yeah, no problem. Wants to come short side on this. Well, I don't know whether he's trying to come short side. He's overhit it for the combo. One of the two behind the the eight nine here, or the what's that? The four nine. Nice oh, play. What a nice touch that was. Nice hit, nearly made the ball. 
I'm actually going to put my name down for next year's Derby City Classic. Oh, I've heard do. it's cheaper to stay at the hotel. It's cheaper to stay at the hotel if you actually play the tournament, right? There is a discount code for uh, tournament players. Yes, that is true. I remember it being out in the sticks, miles from anywhere. It uh, It is out there a little bit. Yes, that is true also. They have a, a captive audience, I guess. Always call Tony Chohan the NASCAR. He's got so many adver advertisements <laughs> and sponsors on his shirt. He looks he like does. a NASCAR. He does look like a, look like he does look like a race car with all those uh, ads on him. Well, that was a lovely little shot he played there. A little bit unfortunate. Switching to lefty. Just under hit this slightly. Similar safety here, back behind the nine, I would think. Thin off the four. Oh, he's banked it the other way. That's okay. All right, he's got him hooked. He actually, he actually fancied Ch Tony Chohan to make this. No, he played it the safe way. Cute four ball up yeah, table. Cute ball shot. to the handrail. Nice shot. Well, he's matching in though, blow for blow at the moment. Oh, is there a window? Edge. Yeah, I think he can get through to this, you know. Definitely get to the safety angle of it, yeah. Oh, he would love that to have caught that six ball. Now then, a chance. First real chance. Big bounce. Yeah. Not a good shot. Can you make the two rail kick? One rail. Well, good solid hit. Looks like the eight does pass the nine. Did not want to roll it in. Wanted to put a stroke on that. Nice shot. Yeah, I do like his stroke. Super smooth. Doesn't net about. Yeah, beautiful. First rap then. Tony Chohan. Showing that you're indeed right, Kevin. He can play rotation as well. Yes, he can. So I'm looking forward to... How many days is it? How many days have we got at Derby City? Well, you know, Derby City is, uh, you know, has three disciplines. has the bank pool, one pocket, and nine ball. I believe nine ball lasts, I think, four days. It lasts a while, I know that. Yeah, huge entry this year. Yeah, they're just exploding at the seams. They they keep on going up and up in entries. Every year is more than the last, and I think this year was no exception. Yeah, I heard something like over 600. Oh, this is a nice break, unfortunately. Six ball came and spoiled the party. Looked good for a cu couple of seconds. The green six had other ideas. He 
you see the eight ball banking in the side pocket. All right. Tony just uh, kicked the one ball up table. Put it exactly back where it was, look. <laughs> <laughs> Guess he didn't get the I'd memo like to from see the Tony screen over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see the screen overlay of exactly where that one ball was. Oh, he's missed the combo. I thought he didn't make that. All right, so, nice chance for Scott. little wobble he wiped his feet therefore it went in clean that three go yeah that three does pass to seven uh -oh. the percentages don't, don't <laughs> the percentages don't really give Scott a lot of chance do they those percentages the, the, are, uh, are very good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, look at this for a fluke. <laughs> Big bounce. Get out there. Get out there. He's gone enough, I think. Wants to move that rack out of the way. That's it. Oh, Am no. I right? Oh, dear. Am I right in saying this is a one of the matchroom events uh, now? No, this this is not a uh, this is not a matchroom uh, points event. It is not. Okay. I just wondered because of the the nine on the spot and the break box. I know that all matchroom tournaments are like that. That's the only reason I asked. I know the international is, I believe. Right. I think that's a now, now a nine ball ranking. Well, well he's, he's certainly gonna... having a Not slash like of things, isn't he? Not going to like this result. Needs that ball to slow down. Yeah, slightly over here. Well, he hasn't hit that hard enough or accurate enough. Very, very poorly judged. He's almost like he's played a one pocket shot there. <laughs> Just lagging the ball to his pocket. <laughs> yeah. So, chance for Scott then to get on the board. Oh, I thought he was oh. going to shoot that to the corner and draw back. I did as well. I think that was the shot, Kevin, to be honest. He's left it tough, though. Let's have a look at that Chohan stroke. Oh, it was a bit of a snatchy one. Lots of movement. Didn't feel to me like he gave it his all. Uh, this is one you want to overcut. Miss on the pro side, as they say. On the pro side. Two ball coming back behind us, nine ball. Well, he's gone all out there. Almost got behind the nine ball <laughs> by default. Wow. And he's left this really awkward. Yeah, I think Tony's going to cross the seven, bank this to the upper left corner, uh, upper right corner, I mean. Banked it short to leave it safe if he misses. Nicely done. Yeah, and it kind of helped him as well that he could get to the edge of the ball there, the cue ball, playing it with lots of left-hand English, checking it back. 
could be going at this though. I think he's going at everything. <laughs> Guess he got tired of all those safeties <laughs> early on. Yeah, I don't think he's going to out safety Tony Chohan. His knowledge is quite superior, I would say, in that department of the game. So, this nine ball. And it goes for 2 0, Tony Joe. And, and he'll just get more and more confident now because he can see that his opponent is maybe a little bit nervous on the stream table. Maybe something he's not really used to doing. And this is the first round of the nine ball, so we got to knock off some cobwebs maybe. Yeah, always tough early stages. So let's have a look at the... We're used to seeing him break very slow off the side of the pack when he's playing his favourite game. And he'll be trying to hit these as hard as he can. I was actually taught something by... John Lehman, the referee. Oh, yeah? I was asking him. It was actually at the US Open I asked him um, how they make the break box, how they measure it. And it's not how I thought it was, actually. It's, it's very interesting. Do you know how they do it, Kevin? The break box? I thought it was just the uh, out to the, to the diamond. Is that not it? Well, no, it's not. It's actually... they. They pull a string from the first diamond, yeah, and the third diamond on the on the break rail. But it goes to the pyramid spot, so it's where it's where the the those it's where the string catches the the head string. Okay, I got you. Okay, so it's you not you know it's it's just not uh, to that first and third diamond. I got you. Yeah, so it goes from the first and third diamond to the center of the spot and then it's where the string hits the line is where the, the break box is marked hope I've explained that clearly enough I don't even understand it <laughs> <laughs> it all seemed clear when he was showing me <laughs> it made sense at the time all right look at this uh, fluke Yeah, that's quite a fluke, isn't it? And a shot on the two. Safety. That safety by Scott has earned him a look at this too. Yeah, I don't know how he's going to just draw out to the centre of the table, I'm guessing. Has he gone far enough? Oh, I'm sorry, that's the 4-8. Okay, yeah. Yeah, the dark colors, uh, it's easy to get the dark colors mixed up. Shot that in like it was nothing. Oof, yeah. Very confident. Not an easy combo, that either, as you say. It'd be nice if he can get a bit of confidence up and run these balls out, just to show Tony that he's he can play. And then we all know he obviously can with a. He's got a far go of 5.45. I'm a 5.75. What are you, Kevin? Have you got a far go? Uh, last time I checked, it was uh, 6.76. But also, I haven't played in three years. I haven't played since uh, since COVID hit. Once COVID hit and everything shut down, that was the last time I played. So who knows wow. uh, how I play now? <laughs> That's pretty strong for uh, six seven six. Yes. Wow, you dark horse, you. <laughs> if you hadn't have told me that, I'd have played you for money. 
<laughs> Did I say I meant 576? I'm sorry, I, I don't know what I was thinking. Must be that dyslexia. Oh, there you go in. then. We're level then. I'm 575. <laughs> Alright, Scott, on the scoreboard, 2 1 in this race to nine. Uh, did you say, is it winner breaks, this one? Yes, winner break. Well, technically winner option, like you could opt to let your opponent break, but basically winner break. Hey, who's, who's kicking my camera? All right, one in the side. Okay. And a shot on the two. Very nice look at this two. And everything else looks pretty open. It's got a good chance here. Yeah, that's the that's the ideal break. Oh, get up when off that using rail. the bar box. Make the one in the side. That's always the shot. He's overdone that. He was oh. nice on that four, though. And he's left it safe. Yeah. This is one where you'd love to jump, but with no jump cues allowed. It's not really one you want to play with a playing cue, but good one one rail kick here from Chohan. There you go. Wow, look at this. And he's going to have hanger. position. Wow. I mean, look, he's got the cue ball back exactly where it was, look. Incredible. And the typical Tony shot. The bank in the four. Look at that, couldn't have hit that any better. I even found the gap. Coming back down. <laughs> nice. He just seems to play like he doesn't care sometimes. Of course he does, but... That's Tony in a nutshell. Really he's always, he always looks like that. Yeah. He could be he's playing a match for $100,000 and he'll look the same. Well, I don't think he got there. Yeah, I think if Tony's got a weakness, though, in rotation, from what I've seen so far, it's these long shots where he has to power them in. And right on cue, he proves me wrong. He's left himself a bit of a tough shot here, though. Yeah, might just play the play it past the nine. It looks like he's banking it. Cross bank. Can't pull the trigger, or whatever it is. Yeah. I think he wants to. Oh, he's wow. cut it in the side. What a great shot. Wow. So this then to open up a two rack lead again. Three one it is. Look at this shot. Just uh, just goes in, just clears the point. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm Kevin Ross being joined by Two Piece Q, Mark White. Speaking of Two Piece Q, have you done any more of those uh, rap songs lately? No, I've sort of retired him for a little while. Okay, I'm no more, no more Two Piece Q. Little... It's just Mark White. Yeah, there, there, there will be some more, but not, not at the moment. I'm concentrating on my... I'm trying to grow my brand, so I've sort of 
Gotcha. Trying to, I'm cleaning up my act. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be taken seriously as well, you know, as a as a commentator. But I'm I'm sure he's going to come out of retirement. Oh, there's there's plenty of serious commentators. We don't need another serious commentator. We need two piece Q commentating. <laughs> Maybe I'll work on something special for one of our matches coming up later. Careful, I might hold you to that. I wouldn't expect anything else. Meanwhile, Tony's off to the races here on this rack. Nice little short side on the five here. Yeah, natural angle to go to the six. Looks like this rack's over. Reminds me of Jason Shaw in a strange way, the way he just saunters around the table, you know. Looks like he doesn't care and just, you know, it's another day at the office. <laughs> and, you know, at the end of the day, this is his office, you know. It's, yep, this is his workplace. It's work. All right, nice little break and run by Tony. Extends his lead four to one in this race time to nine. Did not waste any time. Yeah, he's good. He's good to watch. Makes a few mistakes, of course, but then we all do that, of course. He lulls I do you into like that his false sense of security. He lulls you in. <laughs> yeah, he's he's very deceiving. He's like a, a silent assassin kind of guy, you know. But I yeah. like his pace. I like I like the speed he plays at. Now you see how close the tables are at Derby City. Another player on the other table. Again, eight ball in the side. He's made a ball, and he's got good shape on this one. Everything's wide open. Let's see if he can put another rack together here. And talking of rappers, he's on a two-pack. <laughs> That's the Mark White that we all know and love. <laughs> 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 oh, what's he done there? He's uh, he's fine. He's got uh, that that window there for the four in the corner. Oh, I'm mixing the balls up again. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Thought that might be the case. Oh. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, just a little bit too quick there. Just as you think he's going 5-1. Instead of being four up, he's only going to be two. He put a nice stroke Scott on that. Scott can make his last two balls. Just need to slow down. Made it off a couple of rails. <laughs> oh. Well, he's teasing us, teasing. <laughs> but it's he, wants to make, he wants to make sure we're awake. <laughs> All right, Scott. Stealing that game away from Tony. Closes up that gap. Four to two. Race to nine. Do we know who we've got coming up next? Uh, I think we might have a nice little uh, couple of, couple of, you know, at least. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> Caught me off guard. You're going to surprise me, aren't you? you? 
you're going to surprise me. I know what you're up to. <laughs> we might have another player not, that some trying, people may have heard of. Well, I'm not trying to put words in your mouth or players in your mouth, but um, <laughs> I've never commentated. I've never had the pleasure of commentating on the magician. Huh. And I don't mean I don't mean Chris Mellin. I don't mean him. I mean the, the real one. <laughs> well then, maybe we'll have to see what we can do about that. Have a look at the break. One in the side again. That really is the break they're going for. Yeah, the cut break with the one in the side. Yeah, I had the long shot on the two, just couldn't quite put it down. And he's left he's left this tough for Tony. Not just the making the two, but the getting on the three. This is a tough shot for Tony. He could just stop it, I think, if it's straight. Oh, he's drawn it back. I thought he what might have nice just stopped shot. it for the bank. What a shot that was. Has he got a nickname? Tony Chohan? T-Rex. Oh, that's it, of course. T-Rex. Another great one. I love uh, Scott Frost, the freezer. Yep. I know him. Oh, I thought... Uh... I thought the five had room to go. Apparently not, because he tried to play that billiard. Oh, beautiful. Nice shot. And he has a shot on the six. That'll work. <laughs> this will work. Yeah, can he get to either side of the eight ball? Just want to end up on it. Nice. Maybe he's just trying to clip it there. He's got a thin, a thin one. cut. It's a thin one, all right. Yeah, it was a lot thinner than that. Oh, this isn't a, a gimme either, is it? Look at this. Watch the side pocket as well. Any unwanted little English on this. Oh, he put loads of left hand on it. Checked it up. Yes, thank you for moving that rack. I thought he was going to shoot over. That uh, was making me a little nervous there. Is that the Accurac they're using, or is it...? That is the Accurac by Outsville, a sponsor of this event. Thank you to Outsville for your support. Chris Renfro. That's the guy. He's the man. All right. Yeah, I met him there actually at at Derby City. He had a little booth there. I'm guessing he's got one there this year as well. Yep, absolutely. And I know Philip Capel also has a little stand there with all his books. How many has he written? About 500 books or something? No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't exaggerate. It's only about 420. <laughs> I have no idea why I picked that number. All right, nice break. Tony going for the, the head-on, hit him square uh, strategy, and it seems to be working for him. He doesn't go for the cut break like a, like a lot of the pros do.
probably putting you on the spot here, but what, what does he what cue does he play with, do you know? I do not know, sorry. No. That's okay. Whenever I see a wood shaft which are becoming a little bit rare these days in top class pool, it's nice to see. Oh, you may have let this one go a little. Nine in the corner? Nope. Cue ball in the corner. Yep. Cue ball in the corner. <laughs> now, is he going for the nine? It's going to give it a squiz. He's lining it up. All in. Fires it in. What a shot. He's not going anywhere, is he, Kevin? 5-3. He is not. Should have been 5-1. Until Tony missed that six ball in the side, if you remember. Yeah. Let Scott let Scott through the door and he's coming charging through. Interesting name, Lamister. Never heard of it before. I might have to Google what that means actually. I like names. I love words as you might know. With the break. It's a great. Great Bulgarian lady who I believe is there playing in this called Christina Zlatova. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have uh, some matches with her coming up. Oh, excellent. Well, her surname, Zlatova, in Bulgarian, in English, it means golden. So. I wanted a nickname of the Golden Girl, but she doesn't like that, obviously, because of the, the Golden Girls TV show, <laughs> where they were all older <laughs> ladies. Well, so instead of a golden, like maybe instead of a golden break, we'll call it a Zlativa break. Yes. Good player. Destined for good things. Oh, no, oh, get out of there. Oh, unfortunate. Well, looking around. Don't really see any problems. Four to five, maybe the... Key shot. Yeah, four to the five and five to the six. But yeah, once you're yeah, other than that, it looks pretty clear sailing. Yeah, it's perfect angle as well on this. Now look, can go back to center with the table again. Oh, oh. came all the way. All right. Over. Went the scenic route there. <laughs> That's nice. Shoot it will stun off this. Right? He likes to let his stroke out, doesn't he? He does, yeah. Oh no. Oh, and again, it's a ball in the side that's. Whoa, what's that going to cost him? Definitely going to cost him this rack.
Scott says, thank you very much. Keep them coming. Yeah, it's looking a little bit worrying for Chohan. I think he decelerated on that a little bit, you know. And that's where that long stroke comes out. Lots of room for error. Obviously, the more, the bigger the stroke, the more room for error. And on those kind of shots, he, whatever yeah, it was, just Scott's does. not complaining. He's saying thank you very much. Yeah, on those when you when you're using such a big backswing on the, you know, like a a slow pace shot, really like that, seven in the side. The, the tendency is to just decelerate on it and don't finish the shot, you know. Ah, earthquake. Well, this time, no one in the side. Dry break. Dry break brings T Rex to the table. With a look at the one, but no clear shot. A bank shot if he wants to take it on. And he does want to take it on. Ooh, I don't know that you can see all of this one. I think he's going at it. He was trying to play it off to seven because he couldn't see all of the ball. He's got a good result. Yeah, I'd be happy with that. It's a good safety. <laughs> well, I promised you, Kevin, that I would look up the name Lamaster. And yeah. it's actually a form of Lemaster, a surname of French origin. There you go. So he's got some a little bit of French in him somewhere along the line. Well, there you go. Not this just is... entertainment, this is education as well. <laughs> Alright, this is a tough one to hit. Wow, what a oh, nice brilliant. hit. I thought that deserved a tap on the table there from Tony Chohan. Didn't get one though. That was or a nice he? hit. Tony played a safety. All right. oh, oh no. Scott was trying to play a safety right back and trying to bring the cue ball down here and just caught that side pocket. Ball's a little bit awkward all over one side of the table. It was that earthquake earlier. Not brought all the balls to the one side. That earthquake, I think, was caused by Tony Chohan's wallet hitting the floor. <laughs> Them big money matches. It's the softest oh, I've seen him hit a ball all match. Yeah, do you, do you know, I was just about to say... Oh, look at that rack. Oh, it's just gone over the rack. Please move the rack. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I wish I had his attitude around the table. That very relaxed, ho-hum uh, attitude. Nothing phases him, nothing bothers yeah. him. Yeah. Wow. Oh, a miss like that would put me on tilt, that's for sure. That was a long way off. We'd be disappointed with that. Yeah, we've seen a few he was misses. A from to the ball. Seen a few misses from Tony that we would not have expected. Wow, what a great shot. And this is to go level. Who would have thought that at 
well, when it was 4-1, should have been should have gone 5-1. Went 4-2 instead. Tough shot here for Scott. Yeah, just couldn't quite Hit get it. Into it. the rail. Yeah, that's not going to uh, that's not going to work. Don't try and do too much here. Just stop the cue ball. Like so. So this to once again restore the two rack lead. And he was in danger there of going 5-5. Five, five. But it's 6-4. Tony Chowan leads. Race to nine. Yep, this match is a lot closer than those uh, than those Frogger rates would have you believe. Now I'm interested Back, you know, to see where he puts the eight ball here. And with that 99 to one, you know, odds at the bottom, I would uh, I, I, I would have taken uh, that those kind of odds. I would uh, I would have bet some money on Scott if someone was giving me a hundred to one odds. Let's see where he breaks from again here, Kevin. Yeah, same again. Full hit on the one, almost. Oh. Nice little rabbit of green there. Five ball making this very awkward cue in. Look at the follow through on that to the center spot almost. All right, Scott just uh, banked the one out of there, left to keep all behind the two. Someone needs to tell these players the to uh, right, you know, immediately after the break, they need to wait a few seconds and let me show the replay before they get up there and shoot immediately. <laughs> They're not following the rules. Gang, have a. <laughs> go and have a word with them, Kevin. I should. Here, you 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 take over for a minute while I go have a word with them. <laughs> oh, the speedy actually... hit that was he going at the nine? Yeah, well, he's made the seven. I think it was, wasn't it? That went in the side. Yeah, that was the nice seven. safety here. Now, lovely safety here. Run the cue ball into the three. Oh, he's got a double kiss. Were a bit careless there. It wasn't a difficult shot, to be honest. I might just play into the three here. Oh, he couldn't make it. Not well, leaving distance, and he's, he's done all right with this. He's not left anything easy for Tony. All right. Nicely yeah. controlled. He got there. Two rail kick here. Might make it in the side. Or the corner. Good solid hit, and is he going to get the hook? Or is it coming out? Oh, oh I think he can see it. I wonder if he'll just drag this in. Low on the cue ball, or will he just play top? Yeah, he tried to hold the cue ball there. You often see them hit thick. Because they're trying to hold the cue ball. Instead of just playing the natural angle. They're trying to get a position that's not really there. Could play in behind the three. Yeah, you know, this is this has got to be giving Scott some confidence. You know that you know to see Tony, you know, miss shots. You know, makes Scott think. You know, he's you know he's right in this. He's got a chance. Tony still needs three racks and since that one break and run we saw and he was on the second one and then missed that 
now infamous six ball <laughs> in the side. He's, you know, he hasn't looked very comfortable. Missed it. It was a good opportunity for Scott. All right, Tony's done messing around, or is he? Oh, didn't want to catch that six. You're all right, though. Well, don't he's really trying to get behind that six, isn't he? He's giving it his best shot. <laughs> Good angle. And the five. Now he can have a go at the six. As long as he's not straight on the eight, he'll be fine, and he is not straight on the eight. Oh, nice. Beautifully played. I love the fact he played onto the second rail as well then, and then the cue balls always come in into the nine, making nice, it unmissable. Nice natural line to the nine. Seven, four. Race to nine. He's got that three rack lead once again. Made up in lights, look. <laughs> so, what's going on in the world of Mark White? What's your next uh, tournament, Mark? Anything, anything uh, on the books? Uh, Wisconsin is my next one. Right on. Maybe we'll see you there. That's not too far from you, is it? Not too terribly far. Another dry break. You, Ameri <laughs> you Americans are crazy. You drive like... 15 hours <laughs> to go to the store <laughs> oh it's only an eight hour drive away Pfft, oh no that's nothing yeah that's 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 right down the road oh, so you're gonna get a big actually bounce off this reminds rail. me oh no he didn't get sorry there. to interrupt you that, that reminds me of a um of the artistic pool that we did together yeah there in parkersburg Drew Sozio. The driver. The driver. Yeah. Oh, nice bank shot. He actually drove me back to New Jersey. From West Virginia, right? Exactly, yeah. Was that like a 12-hour drive? How long of a drive was that? Yeah, I think it, it was about 11 hours, I think. Uh-oh, don't get on the top of this five. Ooh, a little careless. Yeah, his cue ball is just a little bit loose, isn't it? Oh, the recovers nicely. It doesn't matter, though. Well, he might be a little bit straight, then. He wants to get up table for the seven on the side. He's drawing this. Low left. Big Spin stroke. Oh, you might be in trouble here. Mm, looks awkward from that angle. <laughs> looks awkward from every angle. Scott will be firing at this one. Just play it as a two-way as well. Oh, he 
you can't miss them that side though yeah, you missed that on the amateur side Kevin <laughs> not the pro side <laughs> uh huh I'm beginning to wonder, you know. I'm beginning to wonder, Kevin, if Chris Renfro's got a special deal with um, with the Derby City Classic, where they have to leave the rack <laughs> on the table so we can see. <laughs> no, it, you don't. You don't have to leave the rack on the table, but uh, it costs you ten dollars every time you want to lift it off the table. So most of the players are just choosing <laughs> to leave it there. You saying pool players are tight with their money? <laughs> Never. So on the hill then. Oh, that's uh, hard work at this, really. He almost, almost broke from the, almost broke from the wrong spot there. Oh, that one was going to the corner until the cue ball kicked it. And another dry break. Yeah, interestingly, you know, Sanjin Pelovanovic broke. Oh, made from... a, made a, made a. Oh. Yeah, we're sinking. It's in the drink. Yeah, Sanjin Pelovanovic actually broke just outside the break box. And got a warning and lost the rack for it. That's when the break box was in use as well. It's the four ball down here on this rail in the bottom right. I've just spotted the huge T-Rex on Tony <laughs> Chauhan's back. And I couldn't remember his nickname before. It's okay. It's very subtle. It's very easy to miss. You're, you're forgiven. <laughs> it's hard to make out with all the other <laughs> sponsors on there. He must be the most sponsored pool player in the world. One would think to look at his shirt. I wonder how much it would cost for us to put a little rail bird on there. I'm sure he's got a couple square inches of free space on there somewhere we can squeeze in a rail bird. Tell him you'll pay the removal of the rack beans every match. <laughs> All right, Tony Chohan defeats Scott Lamester. This is round one. Both players, you know, have zero losses, of course. So Scott is not out of it yet if he chooses to rebuy. Derby City is a rebuy event, by the way. You get one rebuy. So, Tony, moving on. And, hey, speaking of magician, there he is in the background. He's next on this table. Maybe we can uh, commentate uh, that match next. We'll see. Anyway, I'm Kevin Ross along with Mark White. Thank you guys for tuning in, and we'll catch you on the next one.